holes in the lid and screw the lid on so he can't get out. And you put him over by the fireplace if you have one or over in a kind of a darky, you know, shadowy part of your living room. Make sure you change his water every day. And give him some uh, Cheerios. They love Cheerios. They'll eat almost anything. But they love those Cheerios. And he'll just keep you company clear up until Thanksgiving. You'll hear him in the evening chirping. I love to bring part of God's nature into my living room. And then they just kind of fade away. I try and get one every year. Now, I haven't heard them yet, but I heard one tonight. So I'll go out there and see if I can find Jim and him bring him in. The last cricket I had, I called him Lucky. And he was lucky. He got to eat Cheerios while all the other crickets were out there eating whatever wild crickets eat. And I took good care of him, too. I didn't give him that old chlorinated water. I gave him some spring water. Anyway, that's what I do. You might want to try that if you like to bring some of nature in. And just a small project. But if you bring one of those crickets in, you make sure that you feed him. Make sure it's a male. You know, if you look on the back of a female, she's got this one long protuberance there. That's for digging holes in the dirt and laying eggs. But the males have two, so you can tell them apart. And the females don't sing. But if you get a male, well, he'll keep you company clear up to Thanksgiving. Every evening, he'll get used to you real quick. And when you're sitting there, we're doing whatever you do, or moving around the kitchen in the evening, he'll chirp for you. I like him. If you're going to get one, let me know. And let me know what you name it, too. Hello, Mariella.